Hey everybody, we hope you had a great summer and we're back with live performances of the Stockton Symphony. This is a preview of a pair of concerts that are gonna be in Lodi and Tracy on October 7 and 9. From time immemorial, music and dance have been inseparable partners and we've called this set of concerts Dance Rhythms. And first up, is a set of dance pieces by Bela Bartok, his Romanian folk dances. Bartok might have been one of the very first ethnomusicologists. He loved to go around collecting folk tunes and then incorporating them into his own music. And a real great characteristic of both the Hungarian language and also much of its music is an emphasis on the downbeat with a really quick, short, long rhythm that goes japa. Check this out in the first movement of the Bartok Romanian folk dances. Now the next big central piece of our program is the Tchaikovsky Violin Concerto, and it's an enormous range of virtuosity and lyricism and drama and power, and not all of it is dance-like, but a good portion is. And in the last movement, the second subject has a very similar idea to what we just heard in the Bartok with this pounding bass rhythm. Check this out. Now, of course, composers had been incorporating folk and dance rhythms into their pieces for decades, even centuries. But in this case, Tchaikovsky kind of got criticized for it, right? Yes. The severe Viennese critic Hans Lick described this section as the brutal and wretched jollity of a Russian kermess. We see wild and vulgar faces. We hear curses. We smell bad brandy. <laughs> That's kind of harsh, considering that the piece has since become so famous, one of the most beloved violin concertos, right? And we're all going to have our hearts taken away by the soloist. Chili Ekman is 18 years old. He's a virtuoso violinist who just recently graduated from the pre-college division of the San Francisco Conservatory. And now he's a freshman at Juilliard in New York. And Peter did a very nice interview with him that you can see on the Stockton Symphony's YouTube channel. So after intermission, we have a real change of pace with a charming collection of pieces by the Dean of African-American composers, William Grant Still. We're talking about his Dances of Panama. He wrote this piece because Elizabeth Waldo, herself a violinist, brought him some tunes. She had been touring in Panama, in Costa Rica, Cuba, and she was not yet an established composer. So she brought these tunes to William Grant Still, who fashioned them into this piece. And a really charming aspect of a lot of Latin music is the wonderful interplay between twos and threes. We might hear one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, or if we do the reverse, like in the habanera, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. So let's hear that interplay in this pastoral, beautiful setting that happens in the third movement of these pieces. Now, at the end of the program, we come full circle back to the Hungarian style with the music of Zoltan Kodai. 
Kodai and Bartok were lifelong friends, mm -hmm. and Kodai was also interested in collecting folk materials that he used in his compositions. And so he spent quite a bit of his childhood in a small town called Galanta, and that's where he first heard what he considered an orchestral sound of gypsy bands playing. And so that's what he put into this piece. And there's kind of the element of Verbunkisch music, right? Oh, yes. He, these are specifically recruiting songs, which was to get people into the military. And so it's got that same great japa rhythm, the short, long rhythm. Listen to this kind of swaggering music near the beginning of the Kodai Galanta dances. has a really great clarinet part. That's right. There are a lot of solos for our principal clarinet, Sarah Marsh, and she's really looking forward to doing it because the piece doesn't get played often enough. And we are really looking forward to seeing you at this pair of concerts. It's a great toe-tapping collection of repertoire. We'll see you soon.